what's ours is so important guys that's my sentence summary for concrete cowboy it's a movie i just watched 2021 release uh starring caleb mclaughlin i think i got his name right i think i actually have to up the dude uh lucas from stranger things idris elba obviously brother idris east london i'm not from east london <laughs> um and it's essentially about a boy who he's a troubled teen um gets into trouble at school moves in with his dad because of it and is introduced to a community of like horse riding brothers out in uh, north philly in uh, some area in north philadelphia one of the reasons why um i'll bring it back to that the sentence summary like what's what's yours is so important essentially me just saying value the value you put in possessions it, it shines in this movie this community of people heritage right of these cow cowboys um all these men and women who have these stables and their lives and their livelihoods revolve around these stables and it's clearly like a history to it even before they explain it in the movie it makes me feel some type of way it makes me want to learn more about the little corner of south london that i've grown up in and it makes me want to learn more about that community right in in north philly i believe it is yeah it's just I, I, I can't explain the feels completely without recommending you guys watch it. But you're constantly reminded of heritage throughout this movie. And that's one of the first things I'll say. Reminds me of that sentence summary that I gave to you guys. What's like the things that are your valued possession are so important. Second reason why I put that through. is because like of the emotional anchors in this movie. What do I mean by that? Guys, the music, for example, right? There's certain key moments in this movie. Whether it's music that's just playing in the car, someone's listening to rap music and they're riding, riding around the block. Whether it's guys around like a campfire, I'll say a campfire. I don't know how to say it. What's the hood version of a camp, campfire? Uh, I, I don't know the word. Someone like doing like some old school harmonica song thing. There's certain key moments in the movie with music, with dialogue, with just the acting power of people involved. And just like the scene, letting people like just sit and be and not talk too much and do things where you see that everyone's got something as far as this community is concerned, of horse riding cowboys, everyone's got something that they value so much and that means dear to them. And losing that is like they lost a son, they lost a dad, they lost a mom. And that shines through. Like, um, there's this, there's, I'll give a specific example. There's a scene where a guy who, fair enough, is like a, he's the irredeemable type, right? He's on the streets. He talks about his dreams. And you start to think, oh, you know what? I like this dude. Like, it, even though I don't see, like, I, I could already see in my mind, this guy's story isn't going anywhere good because of the, the kind of things he's involved in on the, on the roadside. But I like his mindset in terms of where he wants to go, his future. He's got a, a, a goal in, in mind and he knows what he has to do to achieve it, even though what he's doing to achieve it is based on ill intent. But he wants to go to good places and he wants to go to a place where there's more value to his self-worth and his life. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be vague, <laughs> but it's essentially everyone's got something to fight for in this community. 
and it shines through even whether it's good characters characters that you know are supposed to be like that you're not supposed to like so much everyone man everyone is nuanced there's a there's a police officer i, I like him too he feels like he cares and the, this this community is his emotional anchor as well uh there's a great line in this movie you don't have to get out sugar forget you don't have to get out to grow up oh fire that's a fire quote you don't have to get out to grow up basically you can be the change you want to be but without saying that <laughs> you know what i'm saying is is leading leading by example and that embodying that spirit of people around you and the things that in this world or in this place where the movie takes place you know keep you going comes back to my original line what's yours can be so important lastly guys big thing that i say goes back to just like the value of what you hold close to you the acting power in this movie by far that is the number one thing Duffy's the dance every time Idris of course knocks it out of the park Caleb I'm, I'm just gonna call him Lucas because I'm not sure if I got his full name right Lucas from Stranger Things this is a great role for him because now I see him as an actor he's not just a guy from Stranger Things who's trying to come into his own you're an actor now I'm glad he did this role um I don't see that too much with obviously his co-stars, but it's too soon to tell. So I'm being judgy, too judgy. But that doesn't matter. I, I almost compared it to watching it to uh, Zendaya, Zendaya in Malcolm and Marie, but that's very different because I think of her role very differently in that movie, in my opinion. This feels more adult than even that, even though you can argue differently, but it's, it's subjective, I guess comparing those performances because they're entirely different movies and entirely different roles but Lucas knocks it out of uh, Lucas feels the most adult I've ever seen him and I like him as an actor now he's not just Lucas for Stranger Things even though I keep referring to him that way it's because I don't know his real name and I didn't bother to IMDB I effed up <laughs> um, I think his name's Caleb doesn't matter it does there's a dude um, in, in this in this film, I forget his his name. Oh, sugar! I wrote it down. His real name is Jamil Parrish. Um, I like him. He I don't want to spoil it. He plays a guy in a certain condition who hangs out with the main character of Cole, who's played by Caleb Lucas for Stranger Things. He's a guy who hangs around him when he's at the stables, and I like that character a lot and you find out something if you keep watching this this film by the end it will show you some people some things behind the scenes i'll just put it that way and it reinforces again wow this is really part of the culture the people that did this movie they really understand the culture in this area in this part of philly with these people who love these horses and these horses are part of the history and the heritage and it's what they hold dear like their family and their blood that that comes through the most with the acting of all of the characters in the movie this is authentic i love it <laughs> that's my that's my sum up acting power uh music is music makes you feel some type of way emotional anchors all throughout um and the heritage again shines through the history that's my thoughts guys you let me know what you think down below if you've seen this movie already what did you think of it did you like it did you not were you indifferent to it if you haven't seen this movie would you see it now based on this review based on my recommendation i'm definitely recommending it this is this might be nominations for future awards i can tell already because it's emotional in some bits.
And lastly, of course, if you like this video, press the thumbs up button, share it with your friends, subscribe. Right there, the button. Don't be shy. Other than that, guys, signing off. Salute. <clears throat>